Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails. Today, I am going to be demonstrating for you how to do a full set of Dazzle Rock sculptured nails. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work. Now we're going to get started on our Dazzle Rock sculptured nails. When creating Dazzle Rock sculptured nails, there are specific techniques and specific tools which will help you do them quickly and cleanly, preventing your Dazzle Rocks from getting on the nail bed and keeping your colors brilliant and sharp. You're going to need two dappen dishes, two brushes, two towelettes. This is the most important important thing to remember when you're doing dazzle rock or glitter sculptured nails. Now we're going to put our liquid in each dish, cover it up, and we're going to be doing a full set. So my first step is going to be sanitize my hands and sanitize my clients hands okay now we're going to remove the polish using a towelette in the Tammy Taylor conditioning polish remover I'm using gardenia This polish remover is for natural nails and for acrylic nails and gel nails. Okay, now we're going to etch. I use my little etcher strips. They're disposable, one for each client. The way you etch the nail, let me cover this up one more with a 100 grit purple terminator etcher, the way you etch the nail is going to eliminate 75% of lifting. So go with the way the nail grows. This way you're not causing any damage to the natural nail. All you're doing is removing the shine and putting just little hills and valleys in the nail so it gives your product, your acrylic, something to stick to. and you do this on all 10. We're going to be doing an all 10 process. This way you can do your nails fast and easy. So each step is going to be all 10, all 10, all 10. So you're going to continue to etch all 10 nails before you go to the next step. I just finished etching all 10 nails. Now we're going to dust the nails off using a plastic manicure brush. This way it's easily disinfected. You don't want to be spreading germs. Then apply your primer. Dab your brush a little bit on the towelette. And apply primer to all ten nails. Just brush it on sparingly. This little bottle of primer will prime 1,000 nails. Be very careful not to over prime your nails. It's very important to prime though so you want to make sure that your nails are going to stick. Etching and priming. Very important. And you do all ten. By having a system, you will be so excited about how fast your nails are going to go on. Okay, set our primer aside. Now we're going to apply our nail forms. We're going to be using the gold nail form. Okay. And you're going to apply your nail forms on all ten nails.
Roll your form. Place it underneath the free edge. Get it underneath those corners. Stick it down. Stick together. The little wings there. Roll your form. Place it under the free edge. Stick it down. Roll your form. Get that nice arch in your form. It makes it real easy to get that form on. Place it under the free edge. Stick down the sides. Press together the little wings. Do this on all ten nails. The nail powders we're going to be using is the Dazzle Rocks in Rock Me Red, which is a combination of holographic red with multicolor little shimmers in gold, pink, and purple. Then we're going to use the Extra Cover French Pink on the nail bed and our Competitive Edge Crystal Clear Nail Powder to seal in our Dazzle Rocks. Now we're going to be applying primer one nail at a time because the primer has to be wet when the acrylic is applied. So let's uncover our, our acrylic here. Okay, get our liquid ready. Have our primer ready. Everything right here. We'll just keep that brush sitting in there for now so it's easy to go back and forth. I used a regular brush and then I also used one of my little travel brushes so it was really easy for me to distinguish between my brushes. Apply your primer one nail at a time so the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now we're going to get our ball of Dazzle Rocks and Rock Me Red. Place this onto the free edge. Pat it across. Push in your sides. Wipe off your brush. Get a little liquid. Make your smile line. Clean up the free edge. Get it just how you like it. Then apply your crystal clear over the top to seal in your dazzle rocks. Then you don't have any glitter getting down into the nail bed when you're applying your pink. Now we're going to switch brushes. This is the Extra Cover Prisma French Pink. And stroke, side, side, center. Dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you, place, let it flow. Stroke it side, side, center. Make sure there's no pink on the red. Then put a very thin coating as your fourth ball of the crystal clear. That way you have a nice, beautiful line between your red rock and me rock me red tip and your extra cover pink base. Apply primer. Get your free edge, pat it across, push up the sides, and your little smile line there. Push up the sides, wipe off your brush, get a little liquid, 
push back your smile line. Clean up your free edge. Make sure you get it just how you like it. Okay, wipe off your brush. Oops, got to put a little bit of clear on there. Don't forget. Switch brushes. Apply your first ball of pink. Place, let it flow. Stroke, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Whoop, hold on one second. Got a little bit down there. Clean that off. Place, let it flow. Stroke it out, side side, center. Wipe off your brush. Apply your clear as your fourth ball. Apply it almost at the cuticle area. Let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. As the nail is starting to dry, you're going to squeeze the C-curve. You press down where the pink meets the red. Make a nice, beautiful C-curve in that nail to make the nail really strong and make it appear very narrow. Whoops. Knock off your form. Stick it back on there. Reprime. If you don't like the ball, wipe it off. Yep, I like that one. Place at the free edge. Pat it across. Push in your sides. Wipe off your brush. Get a little liquid here. Make your smile line. Bring up your free edge here. Get that free edge just how you like it. And once you get it how you like it, then you're going to seal it with your clear. This keeps your dazzle rocks from getting all over, plus it makes it really shiny. when you're finishing, when it's all finished. Place, let it flow, stroke, side, side, center. Let it flow, stroke, side, side, center. Then apply your crystal clear as your fourth ball. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Squeeze your C-curve. Reprime. Apply your free edge. Pat it out, push up your sides, wipe off your brush, get a little liquid, take your smile line, clean up the free edge there, get that free edge just how you like it before you seal it with your clear, with your crystal clear. The Competitive Edge Crystal Clear Powder works fabulous. Okay, very good. Then 
and apply your pink. Switch brushes. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Apply your pink. Let it flow. Side, side, center. Then apply your crystal clear as your fourth ball. Almost at the cuticle. Let it flow. Side, side, center. Then we're going to come back and squeeze our C curve. And we're going to continue on all ten. I just finished applying my product to all ten nails. Now I'm going to cover up my liquid and powder. So when I'm filing, no dust contaminates my products. Remove your brushes. Cork your liquids. Tighten your primer. Get all set up. I'm going to start filing. Throw away your little towelettes. Remove your nail forms. Pinch them first. Then they come off really easy. going to file all ten nails and we're going to use a system. The first step, we're going to file all the left sides, then all the right sides, then the tip of the free edge, the top of the nail, and the client's angle. Now I like to score my file a little bit before I start filing. Score the edges so it doesn't cut the customer. Okay, turn the hand sideways and file straight out on the left side, on all ten. When you have a system to filing, it is so fast. Then file straight out on the right side. And do this on all ten. Step three in filing is the free edge. Hold your file straight up and down for a square or slightly angle it for a square oval or almost flat for an oval. We're going to make our nail square. So you shape the tip of the free edge on all ten nails. I'm using a 100 grit zebra file. Step number four, file the top of the nail, bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side using a horseshoe pattern and make sure that you get it really smooth and when you apply your product, you never get your product too close to the cuticle, that way you have a nice little road because if the uh, acrylic is too close to the cuticle, you're going to have lifting. So you always want a little space between the acrylic and the cuticle and then your file fits in there real nice and you can make it really smooth around the cuticle area. Bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. And this gives you a nice curve to your nail. Okay. Next nail, bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side long strokes. Nice long strokes. Get that nail nice and smooth around that cuticle area. Okay. 
bevel down on the side, across the top, and down on the other side. Nice long strokes. Never file like that. That's a lot of energy and it doesn't give the nail a beautiful look. Bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side and do this on all ten. I just finished all ten, step number four, the top of the nail. Now I'm going to do step number five, the client's angle. Turn the hand around and bevel the nail down towards the tip. This is the angle the client looks at for the next two weeks and you want to make sure it is beautiful. And you do this on all ten. I just finished step number five in filing which was the client's angle. Now we are going to buff the nails using a clean finish buffer. And we buff all ten. I just finished buffing all ten. Now I'm going to have my client go wash her hands with some peach antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. Go wash your hands. My client just finished washing her hands. Now I'm going to apply the Top Gel Plus. This makes it so shiny. You're going to love this. And it stays shiny the whole two weeks. And you do this on all ten, but we're going to cure five at a time. With an LED light, it's only 40 seconds. With a UV light, it's two minutes. Place their hand in the light. There we go. Apply it on all ten nails. And when the first hand is done curing, put the second hand in the light. The top gel has finished curing, so now we're going to clean off the surface with a towelette and the clean it. Clean off all ten. shiny and beautiful those are. How fun. And then put a little bit of cuticle oil on, the Tammy Taylor Conditioning Cuticle Oil. This is the Gardenia. We have Gardenia and Peach. And you have your beautiful Dazzle Rock Sculptured Nails. Dazzle me up with Dazzle Rocks.